Question, do African Americans owe the abolishing of slavery to an Italian unification activist? Dr. William Connell, PhD, LaMotta Chair in Italian Studies at Seton Hall University, joins us today with some fascinating history and, and insight on uh, people we didn't know. Garibaldi, uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi. Th thank you, Brian. Yeah, uh, uh, Garibaldi was a very important exemplary figure in the abolition movement in the 19th century. Uh, and often he's not given the credit that he deserves in the United States. Now, as uh, I understand, he was instrumental in getting Lincoln to make that decision. Tell us how that came about. Well, it's a fascinating thing. Uh, Garibaldi was a, a, a famous military hero for the, uni for, the, for the unification of Italy mm -hmm. in 1860. In 1860 was also the year in which, which uh, Lincoln was elected president. Mm -hmm. In 1861, when the Union armies weren't doing very well in the Civil War after the defeat at Bull Run, Lincoln reached out to Garibaldi and offered him a commission as brigadier general in the Union Army. Now, Garibaldi, this is very interesting, he, he said he'd be happy to come serve a country of which he considered himself a citizen because he had actually applied for citizenship in the 1850s. But he would come un under two conditions. The first, that he be named commander-in-chief which is impossible under the American right. Constitution, but mm -hmm. something could have been worked out. Uh, commander of the Armed Forces, sure. something like that. The second condition, much more interesting, that Lincoln free the American slaves, because at that point, early in the war, for strategic reasons, Lincoln had not yet issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Mm -hmm. Well, this uh, strategic reasoning of Lincoln's was conveyed to Garibaldi, and he said at that point, I'm sorry. On behalf of human freedom, I would be happy to fight anywhere on the globe. But for a legal principle, the right of a state to succeed, I'm not willing to commit myself. And that's so what he, took Lincoln over the edge? Yeah, so he stepped back. And then as the war proceeded, Lincoln realized that Garibaldi was right that to win the war, to make it something really worth fighting for, rather than a bloody, messy struggle over this legal principle, mm -hmm. It had to become a moral crusade, a fight for human freedom and equality. And that's when Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Wow. There are several other things we don't know about uh, Mr. Garibaldi. Share some of that with us. Well, one interesting thing that's still on this theme is that he belonged to the most famous interracial couple of the 19th century. He wow. was married to a mulatto Creole named Anita from Brazil. So he lived what he preached. He absolutely lived for freedom. He said he'd fight for freedom anywhere, and he did, uh, in Eastern Europe, throughout Italy, uh, in Austria, in Latin America, and uh, he campaigned for freedom in his time in the United States in the 1850s. Wow, did not know that. Now, he had some interesting uh, accomplishments in South America as well. Yes, he, uh, he led a, uh, an important army uh, in the breakaway state of Rio Grande do Sul, and then he helped establish the independence of Uruguay. Wow. This is, uh, why is it that Americans don't know more about Garibaldi? Well, uh, he was very famous for a long time. You'll find a, a monument. Uh, you can see the house that he lived on in, mm. lived in, in, on Staten Island. And they built a large monument to him there. Uh, unfortunately, the monument was built of wood. Uh, it was as big as the Jefferson oh. Memorial, but it rotted in the 1930s and 40s, wow. and America went to war with Italy in the, mm -hmm. in the 1940s, so that, uh, so that there was no real impetus to rebuild the thing. Uh, in in Italian-American communities, of yeah. course, we hear his name resonate, but you Absolutely. don't see it in the textbooks and a lot of historical accounts. I think he belongs there in American history textbooks. Is there a resurgence, perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, as part of the work you do to, well, to bring Well, the Italian that back? government recently, the Italian government recently has promoted uh, the, the, the heroes of its unification that took place 150 years ago. And so we're hoping that through those initiatives and then through the educational initiatives that we have in Italian history in American universities that we can make Garibaldi the American hero uh, that he once was. Great research on your part, and we should say congratulations. You won the uh, NPR award for uh, uh, the Academic Minute for your segment on uh, research on Machiavelli. Thank you very much, Brian. It's, it's very nice. I'm honored to be here. Great to have you, and uh, insightful stuff. I, I feel enlightened already. <laughs>